Nothing else for you today. I'll see you later, friend. Until next we meet. Monastery Avon, rife for plunder! We cannot sail here!
Strike of the tune. Bring sail in!
Hey, come here!
Need your eyes, my friend.
the bastards! Yeah. 
to find it.
Here plumbare ad furure de hominibus quasi stercus superudit a scabra cuius. Multi autem sunt in numero, sed mente sua ad modum tenues esse. Ut congregentur ad Marcus et dixit ad vulgares de terra superbus est, lo venite audite verbum domini in nostri Jesu Nazareno eras. Ut non vide tu. Planetum revolutam, sed non novi, ubilutam est. Bring it from here. Go, Sunan. So much said, Jeff. That we school and that day never be true. There you are, Gunner. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Eivor! Thought I smelt you on the wind. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have! This Valkyrie right here. Bridget. My own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunner. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? That's mom and dad carried the Vengilla the Nanun. I don't help Drews me. Bricks with man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch. You two bags of air sick or gumpas gillu. That's Eivor Gal, Cleese Lown. Right, no daylight to waste then, eh? Huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. <laughs> Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay on mine. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. But spring a few back. There is the elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevder.
hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderly enough to Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, oh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowin. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm? God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. 
Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the night's chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around... It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the Reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews, and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenhelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Teftir, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Fell the swine! <sighs> Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities.
Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tevter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful, accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Grivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunan, and that spatchcock tip there lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Teftir. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskalan Vela Sprogion and Creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Luft. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Luft, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering. But even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I heard your voice, clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I'll fill your shop with sheep. You are some corn to whirl. Bold of Wixan Selva with Fortress. So I have you a nicht as so well, she the high his fire. Then, in the mist of the night, they saw a woman at the crossroads, dressed poor. Of the night, oh, they saw a woman at the crossroads. Yeah. Just all that house for sure. A child. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar.
have come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. To each dwelling, fate foretelling, it's the Mary Lewitt. Well done. Ah, lads getting into their cops, scaring the wee ones. My horse, victor of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is freely given? A worthy haul, and a tradition worth keeping up. Get it! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar? My cakes. The white lady. Her dark eye fell upon Be my eyes soon. Come on, Abel. Gunner! Oh, damn deserter. I said, cloth is, take your false gods and piss off back to your shit smeared hovel. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunner, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood and more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, him tall. Pay for your sins! 